Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate green texture in After Effects. So let's start. So now, here we have two shape layers and one background solid layer. We are going to pre-comp each of these shape layers first. We are going to select both these layers, turn on the rasterize. Now we are going to move the anchor point of this layer and put it exactly at the midpoint. And for this one it is already in the midpoint. So now we are going to add some animation to the strips before jumping on to adding some crane texture. So we are going to add some planetary revolution animation. So we are going to select the small sphere and move it and place it over here. Let's scale it down a bit. Place it over here. Press P to open the position. Press S to open the scale. And we are going to press U to open the properties with keyframes. After that, we are going to jump on to next 6 second and move it over here. Let's scale it up a bit and give it around 90%. We are going to make the motion path a bit curved. We are going to fix the motion path later on. Now after that, we are going to jump on to next 12 frame. And we are going to simply copy and paste the initial keyframe. Alright, so now we are going to fix the motion path a bit so we can take the help of the rulers. So we are going to add one ruler over here and kind of equally distant another ruler over here. One over here and one over here. So we are basically going to move the bezier handle and properly snap it with the ruler something like this. So let's bring the work area end over here to play it in a loop and let's preview our animation. So now we are going to add some keyframes on opacity as well. So as you can see at this point this red circle should be behind the yellow circle. So let's duplicate this layer once again. Now we are going to select both the layers and press T to open opacity put keyframes and we are going to give the opacity of the top layer 0 and keep the bottom layer 100%. Then at this point, we are going to give the layer below as 0 as the opacity and this one as 100 as the opacity. And at this point, it should be the same value. Now here it is going to be reversed. We are going to give it 0 and we are going to give it 100%. And at the end, we are going to simply copy and paste the initial keyframes. So select the opacity keyframes, press and hold the uh, control key plus the alt key and click on it to change it into hold keyframes. Now we are going to select this spear, put it below the yellow circle. Now you can see that it is revolving around the yellow circle. So now it's time to add green texture on the ships. So let's start with this little red circle and we are going to add a custom ship with paint tool and we are going to make the ship such a way that it looks like a shadow cast like this. Let's name it shadow and after that we're going to add set matte effect. 
let's change it to the small spear now again add roughen edges and after that we're going to pull the sit mat below the roughen edges so that the roughen edges effect is added throughout the ship not just the area that is visible now after that we're going to increase the border value to around 180 let's decrease the size to around 15 now you can already see some grain texture over here so we can make it even better let's change it to spiky now after that we are going to select the path of the ship and let's move it a bit let's change the color and give it even darker color something like this so now it's looking even better so now if we play the texture is not moving but we want the texture to move so for that we can go to evolution evolution options and just increase the random speed or animate it to just move the texture so we don't need keyframes to animate the texture we can simply add a simple expression for that press and hold the alt key and click on the stopwatch and type in the expression time multiplied by 8 which means that the texture is going to move 8 times in a second you can increase the value that is going to increase the speed and if you decrease the value that's going to decrease the speed all right so right now let's preview it from this window okay so when you apply set mat you should remember that you need to turn off this rasterize if it's applied on a composition now it's looking better so here we can add some light effect some shadow cast effect over here let's do that as well so now we are going to add a keyframe on path at this point we are going to add another keyframe and at this point we are going to add another keyframe so at this point we are going to move so we are going to move the path to somewhere around here like this now after that at this point so this is the normal or else we can simply delete it and make it a bit wider something like this and after that at this point exactly at the end of this animation we can simply copy and paste the initial keyframe and let's preview the animation yeah now you can see that light casting effect like this so we're going to apply the same texture effect on this yellow shape layer as well so let's do that So for this one we don't need to do everything all over again select this shadow layer simply select these two effects in this order first select the roughen edges then set mat ctrl c to copy the effect select this layer ctrl v to paste and here we simply need to change this layer to this big spear right now you can see this texture effect but for this one we need to change the color as this is yellow we can give some darker shade of the yellow color like this so let's check it
okay so now one last thing that we can do over here is we can add some green effect throughout the screen let's add an adjustment layer let's name it crane now we're going to go over here in effects and presets let's type in grain we're going to apply this effect add grain now we're going to change from preview to the final output and here you can see that the crane effect has been applied throughout the screen we can add some preset over here i really like this one let's change it to this or this one yeah this one is looking actually better now after that we can increase the size of the crane a bit let's give it 1.1 and then we're going to increase the animation speed to around 3 now let's preview it all right so like this you can animate green texture in after effects so i would highly recommend you to try it on your own and do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt regarding the lesson so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time Make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.